This short video describes how to use the interactive simulation to throttle high pressure water to lower pressures. And this simulation is available on the Wolfram demonstration project at the location that's given here. And so what I want to show you is briefly how to use this simulation. What we represent on the left side is liquid water. And on the right side is that lower pressure where we have, in this case, a liquid vapor mixture. And then the bar graph represents the fraction of liquid and the fraction of vapor that's leaving the system. And what the simulation allows us to do is change the inlet temperature and change the outlet pressure. So let me show you now the simulation. In this simulation, the pressure side is fixed, so we have liquid water, so the temperature is below the saturation temperature. This pressure, saturation temperature is 366 centigrade. And then as we expand to low pressure, we end up evaporating some of the liquid. Since we must maintain vapor-liquid equilibrium at the exit, then the temperature of the exit corresponds to the saturation temperature for the exit pressure. So a tenth of a megapascal, which is one bar of pressure, then corresponds to a saturation temperature of 100 degrees C. This bar graph shows the relative fractions of liquid and vapor. And so we can change the inlet temperature, and it still remains a liquid. And as I change the inlet temperature, because the outlet pressure is fixed, the outlet temperature doesn't change. But notice we get more and more vapor leaving as the energy at the inlet increases. Remember, the energy balance for a throttle is the enthalpy coming in is equal to the enthalpy leaving. As I raise instead the outlet pressure, now, of course, the corresponding saturation temperature also goes up. And notice the fraction of vapor decreases because we have a smaller fraction evaporating because the higher temperature means there's not as big a temperature drop between the inlet and the outlet. We can also use the button here for auto run and we click that then it cycles through the conditions and we can slow down the speed of this cycling by clicking on the slower button here. Hopefully this Simulation helps visualize better the behavior when we have a throttle and we throttle a high-pressure liquid.